What's up guys, Max from MaxWorks here, and today we will be doing an unboxing and review of this. This is an Evolution chop saw stand. Um, you guys may know Evolution, they make chop saws, miter saws, um, they're very popular in the YouTube community. Um, they're kind of the, the de facto go-to for, uh, you know, quality fabrication tools. I don't actually have an Evo chop saw, um, I definitely want to get one at some point. But one of the, one of the things that's critical to getting a good cut is having good stability of the workpiece. And when you have a 10 or a 12 foot stick of metal that weighs, you know, up to like close to 100 pounds maybe, it's very hard to move that into position. And the chop saw I currently use, I set it up on this old piece of wood that is held between two uh, saw horses. And honestly, it's warped six ways to Sunday. It's complete garbage. And I find myself not getting very good clean cuts. Um, so, I bought this in hopes of kind of offsetting some of those difficulties. This thing retails for about 150 bucks. I'll put a link uh, down in the description below. It is an affiliate link. If you buy something through that link from Evolution, it does help this channel and I do appreciate that. Um, but we're gonna take this thing out of this box, set it up with my Ironton cut, cold cut saw and see kind of how much the cuts improve and I wanted something like this because I have a multifunctional garage. We build motorcycles in here, bring cars in here, uh, do fabrication work in here, all kinds of stuff. So the setup is constantly changing. So I wanted something that was level, high quality, but also easy to move in and out, set up when I needed to, and then tear down when I don't. Um, and I'm hoping that this saw stand will, will do just that. Um, in addition to that, I actually already have a roller stand I've had for years that I bought off of Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below for that um, for longer pieces uh, of steel. So there's a secondary balance point. But this thing had, comes with built-in sliders. So it should do a reasonably good job of keeping the piece controlled and making it easy to move in and out of the chop saw. So that's enough talking. Um, let's get this thing out of the box and see how it feels. So now that we have everything set up, um, you know, a couple of the features, right? So I just have a, a random piece of, of uh, bar in here, square tube in here, just to set these heights. And then obviously these slide out um, in both directions to give 
you work for a longer piece. We'll do that in a second. But the way this works is you have these two stops over here and then you have these two clamps. The only downside of this is to really get this in and out, you either have to crank these out left and right, or you have to um, loosen this with a hex, with a five millimeter hex. And then these clamps lift up and move out so that you can lift the saw into place. I will say this, it is very stable. Um, the saw's not really moving anywhere. You can also, like I said, we can, so for a longer piece, right, we can pull these out and there's a max extension line right here. And then you can torque this down underneath, which kind of locks this in place. And so, you know, if you have a longer work piece, it kind of provides a, a good resting point there. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to slide this out of the way, slide this out of the way, and go out to full extension. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a five foot level across this and take a look. So this is obviously too high. So that's about where this needs to be locked in at full extension. And this guy is just about perfect. So you can see this is just about level or maybe a little skosh too high over here. Now, obviously, there is some flex to this. These aren't perfectly fitted, but that's pretty much level. And now we can put a big piece of metal in here and cut it. And obviously, um, in addition to that, I also have this adjustable stand over here. So if we need to use a longer... Move you guys back. So we have this adjustable stand. So if I need a longer piece in here, I can use that in addition to, but now I have a very square and stable platform onto which to cut. So we're actually gonna move this outside and I am going to go find a longer piece of steel to kind of see how it fits in there. Now with the price of steel being what it is, I don't wanna be super wasteful, but basically you can see um, with a longer piece, we're using our extended extra frame. But now this is pretty much level exactly where it needs to be. Right there, perfectly level piece. And now we should be able to generate a very clean square cut. So let's do that. So let me bring you guys up close and we can take a look. See, there is no gap in there, right? It is absolutely flush with the platen and you're getting a nice square cut. So I was trying to figure out a way to show this as like demonstrably as I could. You know, this is almost perfectly square. So if I can get this in there with the cut that we just made. Now, this primarily works great if you're doing square cuts, but what if we wanted to cut a 45? So I'm gonna reset everything up and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when we cut a 45. So obviously, if you're cutting on a 45, the factory bracing doesn't work. Um, I have this other stand, we're now locked in. I also had to move the saw forward because this stop right here was running into the piece of material. Um, I cut 45s pretty regularly for frames and things like that, so this is not a, a weird corner case thing. This saw is, or this saw stand is really set up primarily for kind of straight linear cuts um, rather than, you know, angle stuff. And it's not, not the, the chop stand's fault. This is not what it's designed for. But this is something that's very common, so having the secondary stand uh, makes a huge difference. So let's see what this cut looks like. Um, make sure we go all the way through. I already measured it. Everything is very flat and square. So let's see what this cut looks like. So this might be the cleanest, most perfect 45 degree 
I've ever cut with this saw. Hopefully the camera can capture that. Um, it just, it's a world of difference between cutting on that crappy old table. One of the other things about this, this whole stand is this is designed to be collapsible. So let's see how, how long or how hard it is. chop saw stand. So let me give you guys some final thoughts to close out this video. <clears throat> I'm very happy with this. I know we only did a few cuts. I've played around with it a little bit. I'm excited to work with it on my first major project. Um, it falls down quickly and easily, comes back up quickly and easily, seems extremely stable. The feet are rounded so it seems to work well on uneven surfaces. Um, even when there's a little bit of a tilt it kind of finds the sweet spot. Um, it seems pretty strong. I wouldn't hesitate to put some heavy metal on it. And with the addition of that extra roller stand, it seems like a, like a pretty good way to chop down material and get nice, clean, even cuts. Like I said, I haven't seen that saw get cuts that clean on pieces that big before this uh, chop saw stand. Um, so you will see this featured in future videos. Kind of my initial unboxing and review it is very good. Um, if you're interested in this thing, check out the uh, Evolution Affiliates link down in the description below. Um, if you like the video, hit the like button. Do you have one of these? Do you use Evolution Saws? Leave me a comment down below. Um, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. Check out all the cool projects we're building. Follow me at MaxWorks on Instagram to kind of get day-by-day -day updates on some of the things that are happening here in the shop. I love you guys. Peace.